everybody. Welcome to Facebook Live. I'm excited to be stamping with you on this Monday, March 4th. Final answer. Yes. <laughs> it's time to get my stampin' lips on. I'm a little concerned because I don't see anybody on here yet. Oh, shoo. Hi, Beth Ann. I was getting worried. It kept saying that my internet was not available. And I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> so that was making me nervous. But yay, I'm excited to see there are people on here. Whew! That is awesome. I hope that you guys had a great weekend. I had a busy weekend. My daughter was, um, it was her, um, they call it a turnabout dance. I think it's like Sadie Hawkins where the girls ask the boys. And the funny thing is that um, that she asked her boyfriend in January because she thought the dance was in February, but it turns out it was in March. So she was like way early. So anyway, that was kind of funny, but uh, I did post a couple pictures on Instagram and then on, on here on my page. And so she looked so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It was kind of interesting. One of her friends did her makeup and I came up to her room to see how the girls were doing getting ready because they got ready here at our house. <laughs> and um, I walked in and I was like, oh, <laughs> she had a lot of makeup on. And so I was like, oh, you know, like, oh my gosh, what do I say? <laughs> she looks like she could be working the corner. So she kind of freaked out a little bit. And then she came down and she's like, it's too much, isn't it? <laughs> I was like, well. <laughs> so at any rate, she, she did take a little off. She looked great, but... Um, when I first saw her makeup, I was just like, oh my gosh, <gasps> you like my scarf, Lisa? So guess, guess where I got this from? So this is a gift from my husband. He brought this, isn't this cool? He brought this back from, um, where was he? India. So remember how last week we made a card for him? So uh, he he got home last Thursday afternoon, and this he brought this back. So this is really cool. They um, I read a little thing about it, and can you see that? They tie little knots in the silk, and then they dye it. And then where the knots are tied, it's like um, it resists the dyeing, and so it's like yeah. So anyway, isn't that cool? So thank you. And, and it's like an ombre aqua colored. It's like he knows me so well. So I thought that was really sweet. He doesn't often bring me back things when he goes on his travels, but he brought this back. So that was really sweet of him. I was very thankful. Um, what else do I have to tell you? I can't remember. It does look like Coastal Cabana, doesn't it? Yeah, I do really like it. So um, yes, he did do a good job. I was impressed, so very good. <laughs> um, oh, I'm trying to think of what else I have to tell you. It seems like there's something else, but I don't know. Um, so, oh, so the kids were here until um, 2.30. We hosted the after party which I was happy to hold because it's the kid, my kids are always welcome to stay here after a school event. And they told me that a huge percentage of the kids at the dance were completely hammered. So I was pretty happy to have a non-alcoholic party here at my house for those kids. And they stayed till 1.30, so it was really fun listening to them giggle. They were really cute. Um, and I was very proud that my daughter is not a part of the partying group. I kind of wonder, like, how do these parents not know what's happening? Like, that's crazy. So at any rate, 
Um, yes, Catherine, ribbon is available. He, the ribbon came back in stock today. This is the celebration ribbon. Let me grab mine. Here are most, there's purple is another color too. So these, this is a celebration choice. Five rolls of ribbon is one choice. So uh, that is back in stock. It had been out of stock. It sold like crazy well. Um, so if you want this as a celebration choice, definitely get on ordering it because I'm sure it will sell out and sell out quick. I believe they got as much as they could and then um, what's left is what's left. So make sure you get some of this if you like it. It's really pretty stuff. I highly recommend it. Uh, also, um, Diana, I have no idea why you're not seeing anybody else's comments, but you can definitely go out and come back in and that might help get you in so you can see everything. Um, so yes, the, that ribbon is back in stock and, um, and what else? There was new celebration items added. Um, I have a blog post. I posted it on my page about that. That came out last Friday. So make sure you check that out. Um, I am going to have uh, my classes for March are going to get posted tomorrow. So make sure if you aren't on my mailing list that you get on there. I'll try and um, I'll try and get the. Um, Well, I'll put a link in the description of this video for my to sign up for my mailing list if you're not already on there. Um, okay. Let's see. What else? Oh, I know. So, um, th since we're talking about ordering, um, the gift for your order is if you spend $50, you will receive the All Star Tutorial Bundle for free. And that is pretty awesome. It is um, a $15 value and the projects are amazing. And they feature the things that are on the celebration coordination um, items. And we're actually gonna use several of them during our live today. So, um, Make sure you get hooked up with that. This is the last month of celebration, so make sure you are getting your order and taking advantage of all those fabulous free goodies. They are so wonderful. Uh, I love so many of them, and we're gonna. I'm gonna showcase one, two, a few things today. Two or three celebration items, um, and I've been showing them. So make sure you check back. Also, I have a couple more um, So Hoppy Together um, cardstock packets left. That was an online class that came out last week. And I will um, post the link with just, I think, I gotta look. I think I had three or four packets left. Um, I miscounted. So, phew. Uh, I, I like when I miscount and there's extras available because it always freaks me out um, when I don't, like if I don't have enough, I always worry about that. But anyway, I'm very excited. I'm really excited about my classes for March. I've already been planning them for quite a while. Um, so I think you're gonna like them. My creativity to go kit this month is the Tropical Chic Bundle, which I'm telling you guys, like this morning, it was 24 below when I woke up, wind chill, but 24 below, like seriously, 24 below. Yes, Cynthia, I do have a fun fold for today. I don't know if fancy is the right word, but it's fun. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, what did the frog, cla the class is $20 for the online only or $25 if you want the pre-cut cardstock. Um, and it comes with a cute little embellishment, so that's kind of fun. Um, okay, so I've, ooh, I've got, well, actually, I have to show you this, and I saw her name um, pop up. So <laughs> this morning, I had a call with my business coach, and um, for some reason, I just sort of, I, I think 
I don't know. I was, um, I got upset on our call. I think, I don't know what it was. I don't know what my problem was, but I feel better now. <laughs> but celebration is a really, um, bit of a marathon for demonstrators. And so I, um, I, well, and then I stayed up until with my kids until, or with my daughter until like 2.30 in the morning on Saturday. So I was a little light on sleep. Anyway, um, Connie, all the information about that class is on my blog. Um, okay. So I was up really late. And so anyway, long story short, I was emotional this morning and I got upset. I also got, um, so I think you've seen, I have a new series going on with my blog and it's on Sundays and it's called Simple to Stunning Sundays, How to Step Up Your Cards. And I've done two weeks now. The first week I did a really cute butterfly card. And then last week, or actually yesterday, I did um, some climbing roses cards that I thought were really pretty. Well, on my blog or on my YouTube channel, I got a nasty comment and someone said, and it was last week's, it wasn't this week's, and it said, are you kidding me with this question mark? And I think what she meant is she thought that my cards weren't simple to stunning. I don't know. And then someone asked about my online classes in another comment, and she posted under there, you don't need her classes. They're nothing special. Now, I don't know what it is but I feel like I've been getting a lot of more hate this year than before. And I'm not sure if it's just me or not. And I know, I know it's not me. I know my cards are amazing. I know that. I know that in my heart, but I just cannot believe that people would say such things. And, and I know, I know I should ignore that. And I, I know that I should, but man, through the heart, like, it's just so brutal when people say that. It makes me crazy. And why why do you have to tell someone, don't take her classes, her cards suck? Like, what? I just don't understand. And you know what? Who, someone just hit the nail on the head. There seems to be a lot of demo bashing going around. Just ignore and block. Absolutely. I don't know what it is. If you don't have anything nice to say, sh shut your trap. But... um. Like, and a few weeks ago, another lady said something really, really snotty too. And I said, you know, there's a real person on the other end of that comment. Like, come on. So anyway, I will stop. But I just couldn't even believe it. And I was so like, if you don't like something, move on. And if you don't like my free tutorial, move on. I don't know. I, I really don't know why that was. It just really kind of bugged me. And then I'm a little stressed out. And so I, yeah, I don't know. But I have to tell you, so that whole entire story is leading up to this, okay? I got this ridiculous package. And I say ridiculous because, oh my gosh, it was ridiculous. This is, okay, look at this thing. Can I just tell you, airmail par avion means, oh my gosh, someone from lands far, far away sent me this amazing package. And I know she's on here. So Tracy, who is p quite possibly the sweetest person I've ever met, um, she sent me this. Look at this. One million and 20 years. The super duper 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 sweet card. And she wrote in it. Okay. And then are you guys ready for this? Like I did kind of, um, I kind of um, like hid this from my kids because I knew they'd be all over it until I could show you at least. They can have some, but just I got it to wait. It is full of Tim Tams. So we have double coat Tim Tams. We have caramel Tim Tams. And then, and then I didn't even know this was possible, okay? But there's family pack Tim Tams. Like, how awesome is that? 
So Tracy from Australia, who I met in Orlando um, last November, bless your heart. This could not have arrived on better at a better time than now. So I am so, 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 so grateful for this. See, people don't send you stuff like that if you suck, right? So Tracy, and you know what I was just thinking, Tracy, was that I needed to send a card to you. And then here this box arrived. So, oh my gosh. So yeah. So Tim Tams are like an Australian delicacy. <laughs> they probably don't think so. Tim Tams are like Australian Oreos, right? I think that might be what it is. So um, I think... I think that is exactly what these are, our Australian Oreos. <laughs> they are not Oreos, but you can actually find them in a few places in the U.S., but they're so good. Here, I'll, I mean, since it's you guys, I'll open one up and show you. But Tracy, thank you so much. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, Tracy, thank you so much. Don't eat them all at once. Oh, no. They're pretty sweet. You can't eat more than maybe one at once. So it's chocolate. Mm. And then they're chocolate on the inside. And then they're like a cookie. So it's like chocolate dipped in chocolate. Mmm. They're so good. So anyway. By the way, I think that the way I really know... I've made it is that I'm getting hate mail. I've been getting a lot of it lately though. I don't know why. I don't know why people are like that. So anyway, that was a good Tim Tam. I do see my lip glosses on it. Mmm. I'll tell you, my good friend Becky told me once that I could delete comments, and I was like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea that I could delete comments. That kind of made things better for me. <laughs> sometimes people say really inappropriate things. I don't know, sometimes if they even realize it, but anyway, okay. Now, I do have some other things to share with you. So I think, um, I'm going to flip the camera around. I, <laughs> I realized that my space is a little messy. Oh, I know. I do have one other thing to, um, Donna, I don't need to grow thicker skin. I have thick skin. It just hurts sometimes to hear that stuff. And I don't know why people have to be so rotten. I actually do have pretty thick skin, man. If I didn't, I would be curled up in the fetal position most of the time because I do get actually plenty of negative comments. So anyway, all right, so here we go. I have some, I have four stamp sets to give away because I never did my um, drawing from last week. And then I have some cards to share with you. I think I've picked up my space a little bit, but I did have something kind of exciting. Um, and that is I got... A new phone. Now, unfortunately, the reason it came is because my son, his phone died. And let me tell you, um, here's how it died. And this is a little gross. He brought it into the locker room for PE. And it was so like, so moist in the locker room that it there was wetness in his phone like just moisture condensation in there like he didn't drop it in water or anything it's just that the locker room is that gross and so we brought it into the store and it died so my daughter got my old phone my son got my daughter's old phone and mama got a new phone so I'm kind of excited about that I got the um apple or iPhone X, 
R, X Mat, whatever. I don't know. It's the one with the super awesome camera. So I'm very excited about it. So I don't know. Can, doesn't it look better? I should say it's got to be okay because I don't have any makeup on and I don't think I look that bad. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> I did get the biggest and bestest one. And let me tell you, I'm paying for it. Oh my gosh, it's kind of spendy. But I do totally write my phone off because hello, it is it is like the cornerstone of my business is my phone. I do a lot on my phone. So anyway, it's always kind of fun to get a new phone. I was excited about that. Okay. I thought I thought I had more cards. I know I have more cards that came, but I don't seem to have them. The other um Oh, hi internet. There he is. I didn't like the long day. <laughs> Today was my kids' first day of a longer periods for um, ma making up their ridiculous number of snow days. Oh. Really? I have a bruise there. Well, from Dodge. what? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Okay. All right, you can go on. I'm get my cards done and quick so then we can go to the store. That's what I had to tell you. He has a concert tonight, and I had him put on his concert outfit, and guess what? It's too small. Because he's, he's grown approximately 57 inches in the last, like, month. 57? Correct. Okay. Mom, that's about my height from a month ago. A couple of months ago. Okay, go on. I'm just trying to... All right, I'm going to flip the camera around. Magic. Perhaps John would go with the eyes. I do watch your replies. Okay. So I've got some prizes to give away. Look at me and my post-its. So our first winner. I love you too, sweetheart. Our first winner is right here. Now, and if you are a winner, make sure that you email me at drico at yahoo.com to claim your prize. In order to receive it, you need to email me with your mailing address, even if you think I have it. It just makes it so much easier for me if you just email it to me. So our first winner is Judy Kruger. And I think, I thought I saw Judy on here. So congratulations to Judy. Oh, you get the Be Thankful stamp set. So thank you so much, Judy. All right, next is Jenny Brick. Jenny, you get the Beach Happy stamp set. And could there be any better timing for this? I don't think so. Um, I love the stamp set. It is so perfect for winter crummy days like today when it should be spring. <laughs> so anyway, I love that. So I hope that you're going to like it too. Our next winner is Barb Sukup. I hope I'm saying that right, Barb. S-O-U-K-U-P. Barb, congratulations. You get the Flowering Desert stamp set. This is another awesome stamp set, so I hope you like that. And finally, we have the Incredible Like You stamp set, and that is going to go to Carolyn Delachiza. I think that's how you say that. I hope it is anyway. So Carolyn, congratulations. Don't forget to send me your mailing address. So we've got Carolyn Delachiza, Barb Sukup, Jenny Brick, and Judy Kruger. So make sure you email me to claim your prize. Congratulations, ladies. Now, of course, if you want to get in on this action, all you need to do is um, share the video and you will be entered. Hi. Hi. Okay. Do you practice right away? Uh, 4.15. 4.15? Yeah. Uh, would you do me a solid? Uh, depends. I got to leave the house at 4. Drop those off um, at the whatever on the way. That would really rock, sweetie. Thank you. Can you put them in a little basket for me? I'll try, but I'm kind of in my live. 
Okay. Oh, are you on your live right now? Yeah, you see how there's people here? No, I did not see that. Yeah. I did not look at your phone. There's people. Love ya. All right. <sighs> when you ask your daughter to do something after you stayed up till 2.30 in the morning and bought a bunch of food for her friends to eat that they didn't eat and you ask her to go to the post office for you and she doesn't. <laughs> okay. So... On to excitement stuff, guys. I have some really cute projects for you today. I'm really, really excited. Ooh, do you guys think it is sharper? Ooh, I like that. I think it is too, actually. Um, I shot my first video on it. Well, actually, yesterday I shot two videos yesterday, and I thought it was sharper too, so I was pretty excited. Okay, I had a bunch of requests today. I couldn't quite fit all of them in, but I do have several. The first of which is this... Um, uh, there, there were requests for the So Happy Together stamp set and the coordinating framelits, which I, um, am excited to share with you. These framelits are so much fun. So we're going to use them and actually I don't have them all here. There's a, a couple more and I think they're sitting next to my big shot. So we're going to get started with this. Um, I'm going to start by folding my card in half and I've got a lemon lime twist card base. So this is pretty cute. Um, sorry, I'm checking. It looked like there was a comment. I just wanted to check. Something about a back order situation. Oh, is it true frog framelits have sold out in the European markets? Um, I can't speak to that, but I did see a comment from one of the Stampin' Up! employees who thought that more would be coming. So um, I don't know, though. But you know what? We're not going to discuss back order situations in Europe on my Facebook Live. So there. <laughs> just because it doesn't pertain to us here. Okay, so I folded my card, but what I want to do is cut out a hunk of this. And the hunk that I cut out is really quite arbitrary. I'm just going to put my card on the three and a half inch line, and then I'll slide the um, trimmer blade to my score line, which is at four and a quarter, and then I will Put my score line right on here and I'm going to cut that out and perfect okay so what I've kind of done is created a little bit of a different type of fold I'm gonna cut just a smidgen more off hopefully this will work it wasn't super smooth up here I might need to oh yeah that looks terrible <laughs> um, I'm going to use my scissors to clean that up. Okay. I should have done this before I folded my card, actually, and then scored it the rest of the way on the trimmer. But there we go. It looks pretty good now. Okay, so I've got just kind of a little bit different type of a fold, so we don't need that piece anymore. Now, I also have a piece of Coastal Cabana. You may rec re recall that this is the color that lets us know God loves us, because that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> uh, Coastal Cabana is my favorite color. And by the way, it did not go unnoticed that Tracy's card for me was in Coastal Cabana because she's pretty awesome. All right. Now I also die cut um, a circle with my layer, my stitched shapes circle out of some printed paper. This is the um, Brights DSP. And I'm going to adhere this just at the very bottom right here and I just got a little smudge on here like so okay so there we go and now my card opens like this so isn't that kind of fun all right I also die cut one of the lily pads out of those um 
framelits that go with our hoppy set. And I'm gonna pop those up. Okay, Joanne, if my camera freezes for a second, it's probably your internet that's causing that. If you don't have a strong signal, that's usually the culprit. Okay, so now I've got my um, little lily pad on there. And then I've got two little lilies that I have die cut, and we're gonna add those in just a second. Next, what I'm going to do is stamp and color my little froggy, which I was gonna say, I swore I mounted that. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this in Memento because I'm gonna color this in with my Stampin' Blends. So there is my frog, and then I'm also going to do the little crown for him. Okay, and I'm going to use my Stampin' Blends. I've got Pineapple Punch and Granny Apple Green. All right, and I'm just going to color this in by starting with my darkest color and... I'll just color, every time I color these legs in, you know what I think of? <laughs> I think I said this in one of my videos on my class too. I said, I think of the Muppet, the great Muppet movie, the very first one where there's some weird guy who sells fricasseed frog legs, which is so weird. Um, <laughs> I don't know, is that really a thing so anywhere? Because if it is, ew. <laughs> But anyway, it kind of cracks me up. So I've got that. I'm going to put a little color up here. And then one of my favorite things to do with this silly frog is actually to add some lips to it. <laughs> so I'm going to draw in the lips. And all I did was draw a heart right there. Okay. And... um. Doc Hopper, that's exactly right, Catherine. Thank you. I was trying to think of that. That's so funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to color this in, but I also want to take and color my little frog dots right there, and I'm going to color that in a little bit too. Kind of ADD coloring today, guys. Sorry. There we are. And now I'm going to color the rest here, blending, blending, blending. Now one of my tips for blending is always to give just a teeny bit of white space on the lines because the color will blend in and it'll fill in for you. And then that way it won't bleed outside the lines where you probably don't want it. So just be aware that in, in areas where you definitely are blending, you want to leave those areas not go not going not quite up to the edge. Okay. Cause like I said, when you color it in, all of the liquid in your marker is gonna kind of pool. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I don't have his arm colored. We got to get his frog arm. <laughs> okay, now I also have this crown. And to really make the crown stand out, I'm going to color it in Dark Mango Melody, I think. Yes, Dark Mango Melody. Just checking. Well, and I'll do some light. I'll, I'll blend it. That's what Stampin' Blends are all about. Okay, and then, oops, here is my light Mango Melody. And I like using that bullet end. I feel like I have a little bit more control. There we go. All right, isn't that cute? So cute. All right, next what I want to do is die cut these, which you're going to have to bear with me so I can quick run and do this. Um, so I've got the crown die cut which will fit right there. And then I've got the little frog die cut, which will fit right there. I'm gonna cut both of these and I'll be right back. So just hold tight. Like cut these behind my big shot. 
You can sing the Jeopardy music. Okay, thank you for waiting. Um, all right. So, oh my gosh, look at how stinking cute this is. Okay, so I'm gonna attach him with a couple of glue dots along the bottom and then um, a dimensional on the top because we're gonna set him on the lily pad, which has popped up already. And then the rest of him will be popped up too. Does that make sense? There we go, so then it's nice and even. And then of course, I need a couple of mini dimensionals for his, maybe just one mini dimensional for his crown, because this is just so cute, oh my gosh. So these framelits are part of the celebration coordination which are new items you can purchase to coordinate with the items that you could earn for free. Okay. And I got a little schmutz on here, so let's get rid of that. Whew, shoo. Okay, so there we go. I think this is so stinking cute. All right, now I want to embellish this a little bit. So I'm going to pull out. I'm going to see if, oh, no, that's just not right. But this is, okay. So I'm going to add a bow with my ombre lemon lime twist ribbon. Oh, that sounds funny, Joy. I would love to, but I'm pretty sure there's rules about that. Yeah, um. Facebook is actually pretty good at sensing if you've done something you're not supposed to with um, music. They don't, they'll put you in Facebook jail and I do not want to be in Facebook jail. <laughs> I know someone else who's gotten into trouble. Uh, she had music playing in the background that wasn't um, royalty free or whatever. So look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right. So I think this is super duper cute. Um, and then on the inside, you can do, I mean, just about anything. Um, but you know what would be kind of fun? Well, I was thinking a congratulations would be cute, but then I th saw make a wish, like your wish is granted, you know? But oh, I don't know. Um... Oh, I know. I know actually exactly. I know what. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, there is in this stamp set the more than words. This is another one of those court celebration coordination items you can purchase. And um, there's there's all these little things on here that coordinate with different celebration sets. Obviously, jumping in and hopping by totally go with the frog set. And then leaping for joy is easy to do when I have a friend as amazing as you. So I think actually that's what I'm going to do. Not only that, because I have that already mounted. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stamp it right there. Well, no, I'm going to stamp it right there. Okay, sorry. Don't you love how I have to go through this whole process? Okay. Oh, don't forget my lilies. Gosh, thank you guys. Yes, I will not. Don't you worry. Leaping for joy is easy to do. And then right here, we're going to stamp in Bermuda Bay. The little, the rest of that, which I have sitting here someplace. I just got to find it. Ah, here we go. When I have a friend as amazing as you, and we'll hide that right behind our circle. So 
So look at how cute that is. Okay, but it's even gonna be cuter when we add these lilies. Okay, so I'm gonna put one right there and I'm gonna put the other one right here. There we go. Oh, so cute. I'm kind of proud of myself. Do you use your snips to cut ribbon or do you have material scissors to cut only your ribbon? So I actually, Anna, I have, yes, I do have ribbon scissors. You can see I've tied ribbon on them. These are scissors Stampin' Up! used to sell years ago um, that I use for my ribbon primarily, but every so often I just have my snips handy. So um, you could definitely get a pair of snips and dedicate them to ribbon and they would be awesome. Um, and to do that, just tying a piece of ribbon, you know, on the handle is a good idea because then you know it's just for ribbon. I also have threatened my children's lives um, that if they use my scissors inappropriately, they will die. <laughs> okay, maybe not really, but kind of. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I think that's pretty cute. Okay. Next up, um, I had several requests for a card using the Bloom by Bloom. Um, and I will make a card that I actually have been wanting to do for a while. So I'm going to start with a thick white card base. And then I have cut, oh goodness, that is... One of these pieces is not the right size. Let's see which one. Wow. Yeah, that is not the right size. Okay, hold on. Now it is. Whew. All right. I got it. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hi. All right. Okay, so on this one, I'm going to use the Bloom by Bloom stamp set, like I mentioned, which, where did I put it? Here we go. That's this fun set. There's a bundle, There, actually there's a whole suite that coordinates with this. So we've got the stamp set, there's also um, a set of punches, there is also printed paper, memories and more packs, ribbon, embellishments, the whole deal. So there's a bunch of things that go with this, but this is a really kind of fun card, I think. And I'm going to start with some granny apple green and I'm just going to stamp this down and I might actually flip this around. There we go. Cause then they're not all in the same place. I'm flipping my stamp every other stamping, or every stamping, I guess, just so that the dots aren't gonna all be lined up in exactly the same way. They move around a little bit, which is handy. So this is Granny Apple Green on Granny Apple Green, and you can um, let's see, we're almost there. Oh, and the piece of cardstock I'm using is three by five and a half. So that's this. Okay, isn't that fun? All right. Then what I'm going to do is a little bit of fussy cutting. Okay, so I'm going to stamp these two little sentiment or these two little pieces. Actually, I'm not the bigger one. Sorry. Uh, if there's postage on them, yes. That there that envelope in there, take out, yeah. Thank you, sweetheart. There's postage on the ones that are in there, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to stamp my um, stem here. Oh, 
Adios. Bye, sweetie. Have a good practice. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp my little flower. I had to clean that because there was a fuzz on it. I don't want a fuzz on my stamp. And I'm going to stamp this in some grapefruit grove. Okay, and then we're going to fussy cut these. Thank you so much for that, Jacqueline. She's pretty cute, isn't she? Oh my gosh, so this was really funny. At the dance, she was really nervous about pinning um, the corsage on her on her boyfriend's shirt. And he was hilarious. When she started doing it, he's like, ow! He said it really loud. And she, I swear, jumped a foot up. And we all started laughing. My husband shook his hand. It was really funny. <laughs> he did not get poked, by the way. <laughs> but the way he did it was hilarious. Oh, my gosh. So poor Ella was so freaked out. It was just cracked me up. Because she was so worried she was going to, like, poke the needle through his chest. I'm like, Ella, you'll, you'll get resistance. It'll be fine. <laughs> Oh, it was funny, though. We were laughing pretty hard. And then I think I put the picture on there. Ella's friends kissed Carl on the cheek. And oh, my gosh, I took a whole bunch of pictures. It was hilarious. The first couple, like the first one or two was surprise. Then the next one was like horror. <laughs> and then the rest were like, yeah, I got two high school girls kissing me on the cheek. It was pretty funny. I also had to laugh. They, we went, they kind of organized this. So we had to go take pictures downtown Davenport. And there's this sky bridge that's lit up at night. And they they decided it would be fun to take pictures there. And I thought, well, I don't think the lighting's going to be very good for this. Well, it wasn't. It was like lit up in blue lights. So it was really weird. And the pictures made them all look like Smurfs. <laughs> So then we had to find another place to go. And um, so then we went to this hotel that was across the street pretty much. And they had um, this cow and a sign that said, welcome to Iowa. So of course we took pictures of that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take my two inch circle and punch that out. And then I'm going to attach this. And you know what? I think I want to two and a quarter inch. That seems really small now that I'm looking at it. Two and a quarter is way bigger, like by a whole quarter of an inch. <laughs> yeah, that is better. So I'm going to pop this up. I'll put a couple of dimensionals, maybe a little one, a mini over here, and then a regular. You would think I'd have some out, but I guess not. Oh, these kids, I tell ya. Oh, you know what? I like putting white on my fussy cutting, and the reason is so that it is, um, it is easier to hide any mistakes that you might possibly have made while cutting. <laughs> okay. So now I've got this, and actually, I should have see if I can move this up a little higher. And then I'm just going to put that right there. So it's just kind of in, in there a little bit. And then I might even tack this down with a glue dot. Ooh. Well, that fell just about into place. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, then what I want to do is add, um, add my sentiment, which I'm going to do in Bermuda. Well, yeah, well, 
Coastal Cabana, sorry. So I've got Just For You on there. Okay. And then we're going to put this all together on our card. All right. Sorry, I'm trying to grab my ribbon. So first of all, I'm going to tie my ribbon, oops, on here, like so. I've got my Granny Apple Green and Coastal Cabana. That's why I switched to Coastal Cabana. So this would all match. Okay. And oh my gosh, did you guys see, I don't know, I'm definitely aging myself a little bit but um, Luke Perry died today. Dylan McKay from 90210. Oh my gosh. Yes, I totally watched that show when I was in high school. They were like the same age as I was, although Dylan clearly a little older because <laughs> he was 52. I am not in my 50s yet. Got a little ways to go. But if I do recall, he was quite a bit older than everybody else. All right. So I'm going to put this on here like so. And then we're going to embellish it just a teensy bit more. Over here. I've got a couple things that I'm going to add. So I'm going to take some of my lovely lipstick ribbon. And we're going to do just a little zigzag behind here. And then I'm also going to add some glimmer dots. Because it'll be cute. Okay, and I'm gonna pop that up. There we go. I know 52 is so sad. But that really kind of makes me wonder. I mean, I don't know too many people close to my age range that have died, and I'm starting to think, yikes. I'm not old enough for that to be happening yet. All right, so then I've got some of these, and I'll get my pick your tool, and we're just going to pop a couple of these on here to kind of jazz this up a little bit. Let's see, we'll put three on like so, and there you go. So that is kind of a fun card with the bloom to bloom all right so there we go all right next oh this one i'm really excited about so next i had a request for the painted seasons stamp set and the there are coordinating dies on the um, celebration coordination that you can purchase to go with this um, this is such a wonderful wonderful stamp set it's so beautiful there's gorgeous printed paper that cord comes with this in a bundle for a level two stamp set you can also get that printed paper now as a level one choice just the printed paper so that's kind of exciting and um, that by the way was just announced last week now the thing on this is these are distinctive images, meaning they're very detailed. So we're going to make what I believe to be a very beautiful card. So let me get rid of some of this stuff here. Um, 
And we're going to do kind of a neutral card. This weekend, I was using kind of some gray cards. I used um, a smoky slate on my cards, but on these ones, I'm going to use a little bit of um, smoky. I used basic gray this weekend. I'm using smoky slate now. That's what I'm trying to say. Man, it's not coming out though. Whew. Okay, let me get rid of this ribbon too before I unleash it. I always put uh, a pin in my ribbon. That way it does not unravel in the drawer. This is important because uh, I have I could have a, just a huge mess of ribbon if I didn't do this. I do try to do it kind of on the edge too, just so that the pin mark doesn't show all the way through. Okay, so now on this, what I'm going to do is start with my thick Whisper White card base, and then I've got a four by five and a quarter inch panel, and we're gonna do a little stamping with that using my uh, basic, or er, Smoky Slate ink and several of the images from the stamp set. Okay, so let me grab those quick. I'm also going to use the, I gotta clean one of these. I'm also going to use the More Than Words stamp set because I really like the stamp set. Okay, so we're gonna create kind of a little background on here. And I'm gonna start with this image kind of right there. And then I'll add a little leafy situation right there. And right here. And then there's this other, this is like a succulent, I think is supposed to be a succulent anyway. Um, so we'll stamp that right there. It's so pretty. Um, and then, ooh, everything's falling. Okay, ooh, don't get that in the ink. There we go. Okay, <laughs> um, let's see, I need to stamp one more of those down here. Another leaf, another ferny thing, <laughs> and let's see. Hopefully that didn't ruin my whole vibe, but there we go. Okay, then I've got a little strip that's gonna go across here like so. And yes, that looks pretty good. I wish that was up just a little bit more. You know what, I might do this over, sorry guys. Just isn't quite how I wanted it. Okay, so we'll start with our big flower there. I'm gonna do another one right here. I think that was part of my problems. I didn't have a second one on there. Then I'm gonna have my big fern right here that's good and then another fern right there okay things are coming together for me a little better this time i think what i needed to do yeah is keep my strip handy okay now i'm gonna have that one right there strip handy and then I can add in a leaf here and another one there. Okay, this makes me happier. Thank you for putting up with me. Okay, and then I'm going to do one more leaf right up there. Oh, and I got my strip. Shh, don't tell anybody. <gasps> okay, so that looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is stamp my sentiments. So I'm going to set that aside for just a minute. Okay, um, I'm going to take and stamp this wishes right over here near the edge. Oh, please tell me that was straight. No, that kind of got messed up. I My finger got caught under here. Okay. 
That looks pretty good. Whew. Okay, so there's the wishes. Then what I'm going to do is stamp the full wishes. That was part of the wishes. Here's the full wishes. I've stamped off a layer of the ink. And I'm actually going to clean this off because I see a fuzz on there. And that makes me crazy when there's a fuzz. Okay, so I stamped off. And I'm going to line this up, which is actually pretty easy to do when you're looking right through. Of course, it helps when your camera's not in the way, but we're going to make it work. <gasps> Perfect. Isn't that cute? Then what I'm going to do is take birthday and stamp this in black memento ink. And I'm going to line the bottom edge of birthday right up with the top edge of the wishes or the partial wishes you know what I mean like so isn't that awesome oh it makes me happy okay then what I'm going to do is adhere this to my card like so okay and I do like the way that looks pretty good I'm pretty sure though I need to have it over just a teeny bit more okay now it's all good all right so I'm gonna snip that off it's a good thing there are two sides to every sheet of cardstock right okay I'm gonna snip that off but wait wait there's more all right on a scrap of cardstock I'm going to stamp, and ooh, maybe this one will fit. I'm going to stamp my big flower, not in basic gray this time, but in a daring cherry cobbler. Don't you like the, con or the commentary? Daring cherry cobbler. Okay, so I've inked that up nicely. Then what I'm going to do is I've got a black marker and I am going to color that center portion of my flower in black and I don't know what kind of flower this is supposed to be but when we do this it's gonna look kind of like a poppy okay so pretty cool I'm gonna stamp that down give it a little huff just cuz I have to it's like some kind of weird habit but look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. <sighs> I love it. Okay. Now to finish my card up, we're going to die cut this and put it together. Now I happen to do this ahead of time. So I'm going to come back here. I'm going to pop this whole layer up onto my card base. And then I have stamped that flower and die cut it along with two of the leafy things. So those framelits are pretty awesome. Okay, so this is so pretty. And I think this would work with pretty much any color that you wanted to do. Yellow, pink, blue, turquoise, you know, any of those colors would look really wonderful with this. Okay, so like I said, I previously stamped and die cut these out so you didn't have to watch me do it. All right, I'm going to pop this up on here, of course. And then we'll t stick these in onto our card underneath. So I've got one sticking out right there and another one right here. Isn't this awesome? so pretty oh my gosh I just love this card okay but wait there's more all right it would be crazy for us to not spritz this right at least that's my personal belief but the question is what do I do with my spritzer I know I used it yesterday Rot row. oh I put it I think I put it away no that's water Oh yeah, I put it with my aqua painters. It was in the wrong spot. Okay, so I've got my alcohol and champagne mist. And because everybody always asks me, um, I put 
about that much champagne mist, and then I fill the rest with 70% rubbing alcohol. And the percentage does matter because if you use a different percentage, um, it clumps, okay? So I'm gonna spray, spray this just like 12 inches or so away. And then I've added just stunning shimmer to this. I'm gonna do one more spritz. I got that real good. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, you guys. I don't even think you can appreciate how pretty this is because I don't think you can see the shimmer, but it's kind of stunning, if I can just say. Okay, so there's that card. I love it. All right, last, I have two more cards and they feature the animal outing. This was another request. Okay, so we've got animal outing. And this is a really cute bundle that has coordinating framelits that go with it. We are going to make two cards, and the reason is kind of funny. The first card is the one I was going to use. And I was trying to find, somebody had requested this, and they wanted, um, I couldn't remember if they wanted a kid card or a baby card. So I guess this could be either one, um, just depending on which sentiment you use. I am going to cover some of this stuff up because I've kind of got a mess going here. Oh my gosh, you should have seen my table after my Facebook Live last week for my Facebook class. It was, the crafter math was bad. Okay, so did I do a drawing at the beginning of the show and missed it? Yes, you did. I did do a drawing. Um, I can tell you, Diana, you were not picked. I'm so sorry, but I did actually draw for four people. Okay, now I've got um, a card base that is pool party cardstock, and then I embossed a four by five and a quarter inch panel with the layering leaves embossing folder, and we're going to adhere that right on top, like so. Actually, this is not four by five and a quarter, it's three and three quarters by five. Sorry about that. Okay. Then I cut a three by four inch piece of printed paper and you can see this is the other side. And when you look at these little snickering crocodiles, you'll understand why I made two of these cards. Just saying. Okay. Um, so I'm going to adhere that to a three and a quarter by four and a quarter inch piece of Call Me Clover, which coordinates. I love when stuff coordinates. Okay. I'll pop that up. And then I've got, ooh, actually, I did not want to stick that down yet. Ooh, but I've got a solution to that problem. I didn't, I wasn't ready to stick this down. So I'm going to set that on this right here so it doesn't stick to anything. Now I've die cut a large stitched circle. And then I'm going to stamp my little rhino here in my black memento ink because as you guessed it we're coloring him in with blends so isn't this cute so cute now I will tell you though if you are lazy which I actually really am a lot of the time you can take the coordinating printed paper to this and see this guy right here yeah he totally fits the framelit let me grab it. So you can just die cut him out if you want, and you don't even have to stamp that. I just think that's kind of fun. Um, so that's helpful to know. All right, but we're gonna color him. So I'm gonna grab my Smoky Slate uh, blends, and then I'm also gonna grab my um, Let's see, these are Flirty Flamingo. And then I also want some Call Me Clover for the grass. Okay, and then it'll all coordinate. Oh, and one more. Pool party. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to make this a baby card. Um, so I'm going to color this in at the bottom. So we've got some grass here. And I'm actually going to draw in a few lines like that. 
And then we'll blend this out just a touch. Okay. And then I'm going to take one more thing because I'm going to need this anyway. My color lifter. And I'm just kind of going over that bottom just to sort of blend that out even further. Okay. There we go. Next, I'm going to do my smoky slate. So I'm going to use just a little bit of the dark because this is kind of dark. And I'm putting that down where it's dark on my rhino and I'm not going quite up to the line, the edge. I'm staying back a little, though it's harder to see on this because uh, the shading lines kind of go up to that edge. Okay. And yes, someone asked if I did a hoppy. Yes, I did do a so hoppy together card. I think that was the first one I made. Okay. So if you missed it, you can catch the replay. Okay, and then we're gonna do this is light smoky slate. And whenever I'm going over a pretty big area, that's when I definitely will use my um, brush tip and because this is, like I said, it's a bigger area to cover this big rhino's worth. We'll blend all this stuff out. But I really love Stampin' Blends. I tell you, since they came out, I haven't been watercoloring as much, but I watercolored in my Simple to Stunning video this weekend and I did enjoy that. I do love me some watercoloring. Okay, I'm gonna put just a little bit right there and then I'm gonna blend it out. Right here, so it's kind of light, looking good. And then I'm gonna go a little bit lighter on his eye. And maybe a little, putting in a couple light lines in here just to lighten it up. And I think that's good. Okay. Now, I really want this to pop. So I'm gonna take my dark pool party and I'm going to go around him like so and just draw in a line and again I'm just leaving a little teeny bit of white space okay and then I'm gonna take my light pool party and I'm gonna go out just a little further with my pool party. And I'm blending. Okay. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna bring it out just a teensy tiny bit further with the color lifter. Um, Ginger, it's on my blog, so you didn't miss it. It's on my YouTube channel and on my blog. Um, it didn't get posted until the afternoon. I was having trouble getting my phone to connect to my computer with my, I got a new phone I mentioned earlier and it did not want to play nice. Okay, so you can see this kind of really just um, adds a little pop of color and doesn't this just kind of pop off the page? So, okay. 
All right, next, what I'm going to do is take and color that little birdie in. Now, if you are doing this card for a baby and want a boy card, a boy bird, <laughs> you might do yellow or blue. If you're doing it for a girl card, you might do the pink that I'm doing or some other color. And uh, where did my light mango go? There we go. I'm just going to color that beak in like so. Okay. So now that we've got that all colored in, here we go. If you recall, I've got this. Now I'm going to pop this up on here like so. There we are. Okay, and then I'm going to I've die cut. This set comes with this cute little branch. There's a couple of branches in this set, but this is one of them. So I'm going to tuck these in right here. And I might just flip one over so that they're kind of going in opposite directions. And then I'll just sort of tuck one of those in right there and then another one down here same thing I'll flip one over so that they're kind of going in opposite directions all right and then we'll tuck that in right down there okay that looks pretty good next um, oh Next, I did want to do one little thing, and I mentioned that this was going to be a baby card, so I'm going to take, this is my pool party and silver baker's twine, and we're just going to, this is why I didn't want to tie it, or adhere it quite yet, because I wanted to tie a little bow right here. So I'll just cut a little bit of that off. And then we'll add this. So super cute. Okay. Get that all kind of figured out. It's so cute. Okay, and then we're gonna pop that up onto our card, like so. And then, where's my stamp? Here we go. Um, and not that one. Oh no, not that one either. Okay, I thought I had these mounted. I did not. So we've got welcome little one, and I'm just gonna stamp that. Um, I'm going to stamp that on a little piece of cardstock here, just a little scrap in my smoke, smoky slate ink. Actually, basic gray is a little darker. Sorry. Mary, you're a first time caller. I love it. Well, welcome. <laughs> um, you guys are saying you wish you could color that good. You really can. It just takes a little practice. Um, it's not, it's not anything special. It just takes a little practice. And if you don't practice, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to perfect things. So I definitely recommend practicing. And then you will definitely improve. Okay, I'm just gonna take my triple banner 
and punch that little end. And then we'll kind of stick that right in here. I don't want to cover everything up. Maybe we'll put it right down there. Oh, I don't like that either. <laughs> and you're welcome. There, well... I'm really struggling with this. I guess I could put it right here. I don't want to cover anything. There's important stuff in here. That I spent a lot of time coloring. <laughs> I think that's really what it is. I don't want to cover up what I've colored. Now I'm just going to put a one uh, dimensional right there. And then I'll put, I'll tack down a little right there. I'll kind of curl that up a little bit. And then have that sticking out over there. Okay, so there we go. There's our card. I think that's pretty cute. It's for a baby. I like it. Okay, so now I mentioned I did two cards. Well, I'm basically doing the same card layout, but I switched it up a little bit because when I turned over that printed paper and saw those smirking little crocodiles, alligators, whatever, I thought they were adorable. So, um, I mean, look at that guy. What the heck? <laughs> You got to do another card, right? Okay, so on this one, I took and embossed my um, ruffled embossing folder. And I kind of think that looks sort of like water. Um, so we're going to adhere that to our card base. This was four by five and a quarter on our crumb cake card base. And I know the crumb cake is not the color of water, but just go with me on this. And then... I took and adhered those or this printed paper because that was the other side of this, as I mentioned, and it just kind of cracks me up. So I've got that on there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is pop this layer up and then on here or on the stamp set, there's a sentiment that says together we make a great pair, which I think is really cute. And so I'm going to stamp that on my little shape here. Okay, and we'll stamp that, I think, in Call Me Clover. Okay. And... I'll pop that one up too. I'm going to put two over here because this layer's already popped up. It's going to kind of sit off of it and then it'll be nice and even. Okay. Now I'm not quite done. Uh, I'm going to two little things that I want to add to this. So I can take. I have a, there's a couple different punches that have this, but the dog punch has this little heart. And actually, that's too big. I'm going to use the cookie cutter. Um, the cookie builder punch, I guess, is what it's called. Sorry. Got to dig it out. There is a littler heart right there. I want that one. It's just a little smaller. I'm going to grab a scrap. of Poppy Parade because that seems to match the flowers that are on here. So I'll just punch that little heart and then I will glue dot that. Where did my glue dots go? Here we are. Ooh. I'm going to stick that right here. And then one final thing. Um, I want some linen thread. Ugh. Okay. And I'm just going to tie a bow with my linen thread, a double bow. I 
and we'll glue dot that on. We'll see if I can do this. Oh my gosh, I need to get my nails done, but I have not had time. I should have did it Saturday, but I was busy getting the house picked up and the treats purchased and we got my daughter's hair done for the big dance on Saturday night. So it was a busy weekend. Okay. So there we go. <laughs> Isn't that cute? You don't think you've ever seen me use so much green in one video? <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> that is definitely a possibility. Oh my gosh, it's 6 a.m. or you live in Western Australia. <laughs> Maybe it's muddy water. That's awesome. Mary, these markers are available in my online store. If you click at the very top, there's a link to my website, which is thecreativitycave.com, and you can purchase everything there. And um, I would love to have your order. The awesome part is right now when you spend $50, you can get a free item such as that cute little so happy for you or so happy together stamp set that we used earlier so I'm going to bring all of my cards back in um here's that so happy together this is free when you spend fifty dollars okay so let me bring these in and get rid of some of these stamps because my gosh there's tons of them okay We've got my pair of cards. Notice this is basically the exact same layout. I just changed up a couple little things. So we've got the animal outing cards. Then we've got a, if I can just say, stunning painted seasons card with the coordinating framelits and the stamp set um, more than words, which I love, love, love. We've got our bloom by bloom. It's like bloom to bloom, bloom by bloom. I know there's bloom in the words. And finally, our ridiculously cute hoppy together. So hoppy together. So there we go. Now, I also have a couple of announcements. First of all, I got to make this announcement because it's really important. There is a cool special going on. Um, so let me... First of all, let me get this going. So first of all, please share the video. Sharing is caring. You can do that on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube or of course everybody who's watching on Facebook and you'll be entered into a drawing for free stamps. I gave away four stamp sets at the beginning of this video. I usually do two, but last week I didn't get catch those two. So, um, Make sure you get entered by sharing this video. The other thing is when you order, um, ooh, and I do have a new host code. What is it? Hold on. Let me grab it quick. I don't know if you guys are having this problem, but everywhere I go, I am getting zapped with static electricity. I think it's because there's carpet and I walk around and oh my gosh. So I have E G Y four seven seven V R. Okay, that's the host code um, for orders under E R one fifty. If it's over, skip the code. Okay. Um, if you spend fifty dollars. Stampin' Up! will give you a free celebration item. And like I mentioned, that frog set is one of the free items um, for celebration. Plus, I will give you a free all-star tutorial bundle, um, which is available for $15 or free when you order $50. Okay? Okay. So that's kind of awesome, and um, I'll be mailing those out if you're a subscriber to that All Star Tutorial Bundle. I'll be mailing those out shortly, or you get it on the date of your subscription, just so you know. 
And then um, there is a paper pumpkin thing going on. So paper pumpkin is turning six next month. So when you subscribe by uh, March 10th, March 10th is the cutoff date, um, you can get a free stamp set in in your kit, S-T-A-M-P. I'm telling you, talking and writing is tricky some days. So um, the free stamp set is going to be added into your paper pumpkin kit, and it's it's a, an exclusive stamp set never before seen. So that'll be pretty awesome. You already get a set of, of stamps with your paper pumpkin kit. So I'm really excited. The last time they did that, the set was amazing and I loved it. Just saying. Um, so that is really fun. You have until March 10th. Now I'm going to tell you the best way to get paper pumpkin. It's a little bit spendy, but it is a really good deal. And this is what I do every year. So I, um, purchase a prepaid 12 month subscription. Subscript. <laughs> a 12 month subscription is like 200 I think 10 or $209. Now when you add a few dollars to that to make it a $250 order, so you'll get something else, you will get $25 in Stampin' Rewards. You'll get a bonus $25 in Celebration Stampin' Rewards. So $50 free merchandise, anything you want. That includes host sets, so that's kind of awesome. And then you'll also get five Celebration Choices for free. And might I add that the painted seasons bundle at level two is an excellent choice for that so it's a really good deal um, you get all of that stuff and when you order the prepaid subscription it's cheaper than if you ordered um, the subscription month to month so it's a really good deal and I really like the fact that during celebration you can get all those extra stuff added to your subscription for free. If you subscribe month to month, you don't get any of those free benefits. You don't get celebration sets. You don't get the host rewards that go with it, but you do have to pay for it up front, which is a little bit expensive. I understand that. Um, I know not everybody can do that, but it's a great deal if you can afford to do it that way. Um, so like I said, it's 209 and then if you bump it up to a $250, you get the extra... $25 in free plus the 25 celebration um, dollars in product. So that equals 50 in case you can't add 25 plus 25. <laughs> um, plus you get five celebration choices. Okay, so that's really awesome. And um, if you have any questions about that, of course, let me know. I do have some online classes coming out and I'll just mention them quickly here and then I'll put the link to my online or to my mailing uh, list, my newsletter list so you can get um, the email notification for those classes. First off, I will have my creativity to go kit is going to be um, the Tropical Chic bundle, which I'm very excited about. I was working on the projects this weekend. They're amazing. Um, Next, I have the Garage Grunge, or wait, Geared Up Garage. I don't know why I want to call it Garage Grunge. The Geared Up Garage stamp set is going to be my monthly class, online class. And then I have a bonus online class, which is going to be the lovely, or no, Lasting Lily stamp set that will be um, an online class that you can get a pre-cut cardstock packet for. So all of that is going to be released and um, in my newsletter, which will come out tomorrow. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for stamping with me today. I will be back. Actually, I'm not sure if I'll be back next week. Next week is spring break. I will be back next week, but it might not be on Monday. It depends on what our plans end up being. So um, what is the fold called for my frog card? I don't know that there's a name for this. It's just a fun fold. Um, a partial cut? I don't know. Does it? Ha Do we have to name things? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know if there's a name for it. I just cut it. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you guys again for stamping with me. I will see you soon. Bye.